It is time for a weekend mailbag here on Golden State Warriors today where we open up the floor and take questions from all of the real ones and our loyal subscribers right here on the show. It just gives you an opportunity to ask me a question. I, of course, have answers that allows you to pass along your analysis, your hot takes, and how you look at this basketball team as well. Always enjoy doing these segments and chopping it up with everybody out there. I do want to begin with this. I want to know. What does your ideal Warriors offseason look like? Trades, moves, draft? Let me know down in the comment section. You can go as long as you want. This first one coming in from Supreme, I think the Warriors should try to release CP3, get rid of Klay Thompson, trade Andrew Wiggins, draft Bronny James, and help bring LeBron James to the Golden State Warriors. So I see where you're coming from here. Because you release CP3, you open up some financial capital for a player who doesn't really fit on your roster. You get rid of Klay Thompson, who is certainly a declining asset. That would, of course, be an emotional decision because he's been one of the best players in the history of your organization and a fan favorite. I could see that. I could also see why you don't want to pay him $30 million per year if it seemed like the Orlando Magic ascending need of shooting on that team. They give him a bag. And then you also trade Andrew Wiggins. By releasing CP3, not re-signing Clay, trading Andrew Wiggins, you open up a lot of money. And you could open up that money to pay a player like LeBron James. Do you convince LeBron to go from SoCal to NorCal, and then you draft Bronny James to help that happen? I think LeBron James on this team, alongside Steph Curry, must watch basketball every single night. The homie, the man, the myth, the legend, Kate Jackson, always typing in those caps, Brody. You want to make your messages be seen. We got you. Can we as Warriors fans realistically expect our front office to be aggressive during free agency, whether it be trades or freeing up space to land a difference maker, even if it means parting with Kaminga, because I don't know who we trade wigs for if he's not in the deal. Should I repeat that question as if Kate is yelling at me. I don't know who we trade Wiggins for if he's not in the deal. Now, I know that Kate is probably asking that question like that because we've been messaging on Instagram, and he said, Chase, I hope you're right about Joe Lacob, Mike Dunleavy Jr. being aggressive this offseason. Cade, I am with you. I sense the fire. Warriors fans have grown to understand how this Warriors organization operates. They've been aggressive. They've spent money. And because of that, they've won big. And aggressive businesses don't always win big. Sometimes they do, though. And oftentimes, I think aggressive businesses do win in corporate America, worldwide, and in professional sports. If I am the Golden State Warriors, I look at Steph Curry still playing elite basketball. I think Draymond Green still has that fire. I have a bunch of different options. Not a lot of money now, but I can create money to be aggressive in free agency. If you need the trade of Jonathan Kaminga for a Kevin Durant, for a Jimmy Butler, do you make that move? Because clearly, your team is not good enough right now. Smitty's burner. Should the Golden State Warriors trade for Jarrett Allen, even if it means giving up Moses Moody? I imagine if you're the dubs, you can part ways with the shooter to bring in a big in Jared Allen, who's a lob threat, good defender. You need size on this team desperately. And judging by what a lot of people have said in the comment section and how they have responded to some of the shows that we've done on Jared Allen, I think Warriors fans would be all in. I think Moses Moody has potential in this league. As a starter, I'm not sure. As a rotation piece, he can shoot, he can defend. And he can light it up. When I've seen him play, when he gets comfortable, he looks good. But what is more of a need on this team? Shooting or size? I'd go with the latter in size. Should the Warriors trade for Jared Allen? Trade. Pass. You be Mike Dunleavy Jr. Let me know. And as you scroll on down to let me know, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is your number one source for Warriors offseason rumors right here on Golden State Warriors today. And if you subscribe and comment new, we'll show you some love down in the comment section. Another one coming in from Supreme. I think the Warriors should go for Jonathan Isaac. He's a rebounder, athletic, elite defender. He's injury prone. But so was Curry at one point, and the Warriors could fix it. 
Yeah, Steph Curry has always had ankle issues. Coming out of Davidson, it was a huge problem for him. He was also really, really tiny. Now, he still had ankle issues throughout his career. They've been persistent, but he's also added to his frame, and they found a way to kind of still have him be a generational player and one of the great players of all time and the greatest shooter of all time. So the Warriors well run as far as their training staff. Jonathan Kaminga is an intriguing player. Good rebounder, can hit the corner three, is athletic. He can defend multiple positions. But what do you give up for him? How much would you pay him? And are you making a big splash for Jonathan Isaac, knowing that there are risks? Also, how do his politics work in San Francisco? Jokes. Maiko, Warriors trade for Laurie Markkinen and sign Nick Claxton. Nick Claxton would cost a lot of money. At least I know the Brooklyn Nets, I think, would be very willing to give him a huge contract. They've talked about that before. As for Laurie Markkinen, I think that Laurie Markkinen would be a great pickup for Golden State. You know, this is a guy who has a lot of size, who can score at all three levels, who has had truly elite production the last couple of years, who's really rounded into form. You know, when he went to Arizona, a lot of people liked him as a prospect. But early on, it was so up and down. He goes to Chicago, good moments, bad moments. Goes to Cleveland, good moments, bad moments. With Utah, he's really developed into a stud. And I think that if you paired him alongside Steph Curry and then you build out the rest of your roster, that's one of my favorite trade targets for Golden State. Raging Rocco, since it doesn't look like we're not getting any big-name players in a trade, can we at least try to trade Wiggins for a guy like John Collins? I feel like he'd be a good fit for us. You know what I'd like to see more from Steph Curry? And just the evolution of this Warriors offense? Adding the lob threat. And John Collins would be an excellent lob threat for Steph Curry. You run the little pick-and-pop there action, and John Collins can either pop and take a shot, or he can dash to the cup. And Steph Curry is so difficult to guard there because he has the floater. He has the creativity to be able to finish around the rim. But then you add the lob threat to that as well. John Collins can hit the three. For some reason, Atlanta has just been so lukewarm on him. So I have concerns. Is he a worthy enough player to have in your locker room? But as a basketball fit, I think about the lob threat for Steph Curry, just another element of this offense. I get intrigued by that. I do. The big chipper. Do you think Kevin Durant or Jimmy Butler would even be available for the Warriors to make a trade? So if you're going to trade for Jimmy Butler or Kevin Durant, for that matter, both in the similar age bracket, you're going to have to give up a Jonathan Kaminga, a Brandon Podjemski. You're going to have to make a move like that. Um, you're going to have to give up and part with young players who the trading team can acquire to really help them out because they're giving up a superstar in either Jimmy Butler or Kevin Durant. Who's your guy? Name a player the Warriors should make a call for to make a trade for this offseason. Drop that name down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to us here on Golden State Warriors today. North of 60,000 subscribers. We're going to continue to keep it humming here on the show.